Hello again. Today I'm going to read Flo from the Oxford Reading Tree series, um, Stage 8 book. We've been reading this in our senior class um, slowly, and I promised I would put it onto video so they could listen at home and watch. So let's begin. It had been raining for days. All this rain, said Biff. I wish it would stop. I'm taking Floppy for a walk, said Mum. Who wants to come? Biff and Chip looked at her. Not us, they said. It's raining. In the end, Biff said she would go with Mum. They went into the park. It was not, not much fun in the rain. Look at Floppy, said Mum. He can't help getting muddy. The ground is so wet and squelchy. Biff and Mum walked across the park. They wanted to cross the little bridge, but the stream had flooded. I've never seen it this high, said Mum. Biff was excited. Oh look, she said, the bridge is underwater. Biff began to wade across the bridge, but Mum called her back. It's not a good idea, said Mum. The stream is flowing really fast and you can't see the edge of it. What if you slipped in? If it goes on raining, the water will flood across the park, said Biff. Mum looked thoughtful. I hope the rain stops, she said. We don't want the flood to get as far as our house. The next morning, when Biff and Chip were at school, it was still raining. The children couldn't go out to play. Another wet, wet playtime, sighed Chip. I wish it would stop raining. So do I, sighed, sighed Miss May. In the afternoon, it stopped raining. Hooray! Now we can play football, said Wilf. But there were big puddles on the field. I'm sorry, said Mrs May. We can't play football today. The ground is too wet. That evening, Biff, Chip and Kipper were watching television. The weather forecast came on. Some bad storms were coming, with a lot more rain. Not more rain, sighed Chip. The storm came in the middle of the night. The rain beat on the roof of the house and it lashed against the windows. It was so loud that Biff and Chip couldn't sleep. Mum brought them a hot drink. Poor Floppy, said Biff. He hates this. In the morning, Dad took Floppy for a walk. Chip went with him. When they got to the park, Chip gasped. The park was flooded. It was like a giant lake. Chip thought the floods were fun. Dad looked worried. I don't like the look of this, he said. We don't want the water to get as far as our house. Chip grinned at Dad. It couldn't go that far, he said. Could it? But it didn't stop raining and the floods grew worse. The water reached the edge of the park. Then it began to creep up the road. It came through the fence and flooded the end of the garden. The road near Wilf and Wilma's house was flooded. The children watched the cars going through the flood. One car had broken down and was stuck in the middle. That day, the school was closed. The hall was flooded and there was no heating. What are we going to do all day? asked Wilf. I'm sorry, said Mrs May. We can't open the school today. When the children got home, they saw a lorry in the street. It was loaded with sandbags. People were taking the sandbags to their houses. We need you all to help, said Mum. Biff and Chip helped to carry the sandbags. They were very heavy. Dad put them in front of the doors. I just hope the water doesn't come up this far, said Dad. Mum looked upset. The floods make it worse, she said. So there's only one thing to do. She picked up a chair. We'll have to take things upstairs, said Mum. 
they all began to carry things upstairs. It was hard work and Kipper began to get worried. What will happen if the water floods into my bedroom? he asked. Don't worry, said Biff, it won't. Some things were too big and heavy to carry upstairs. What shall we do with the sofa? asked Dad. Mum had a good idea. She got a folding table. We can put the sofa up on this, she said. It rained in the night. Dad couldn't sleep. He was too worried about the flood. Then he heard the sound of water. He went downstairs and looked. Oh no! The flood water had come in. Everyone woke up. The lights didn't work, so Mum lit a lamp. They all looked downstairs. The hall was full of water. This is terrible, said Chip. Lots of houses must be flooded. The next day, Biff, Chip and Kipper looked out of the window. The whole street was flooded. I can't believe it, said Kipper. It looks like a river. It's amazing, said Biff. A man paddled past in a canoe. It looked funny to see a canoe in the street. The man shouted up to them. Are you all right? he asked. Yes, thank you, Chip called back. But he wished the flood would go away. Some fire officers came to the street. They wore big, long boots. Can we take you somewhere warm and dry? asked the fire officer. Yes, please, said Mum. I don't think we can stay here. The fire officers brought a dinghy to the front door. Everyone got in. Dad carried Floppy. I never thought we'd sail up our street in a boat, said Chip. Wilf and Wilbur were in their house. They were looking out of the window. Biff, Chip and Kipper waved at them. You can come and rescue us next, called Wilma. A cat was stuck on a fence. The fire officer stopped the dinghy. Dad rescued it and gave it to Mum. Floppy looked at the cat, but he didn't even bark. He's been a good dog, said Kipper. They went to a hall in the town. A lot of people were there. Wilf and Wilma came in with their mum and dad. Biff showed Wilma the rescued cat. Poor little thing, said Wilma. We may have to stay here tonight, said Wilf. We can't go back home to sleep. Kipper was upset. There were too many people in the hall. He didn't want to sleep there. I want to go home, he said. Later in the day, Gran came to the hall. You can all stay with me until the flood goes down, she said. The children were pleased. It'll be fun staying with Gran, said Kipper. Thank you, Gran. When the floods were over, they went back home. They gasped when they saw the house. The floors were covered in mud. What a mess, said Kipper. I hate it. Never mind, said Dad. Bad things like this happen sometimes. He gave the children a big hug. Then he gave them some mops and brooms. And what's more important than all this mud? We are, said Mum. OK, thank you for listening. See you again soon. Bye.